A student who planned to come out during his graduation speech may have been denied by the school district, but tonight in Boulder, he was given a second chance to give that speech. Only on 7 News, Russell Haythorn was there. And Russell, it was a pretty emotional night. Jacqueline, he wasn't allowed to deliver his speech to his graduating class in Longmont, but tonight here in Boulder, Evan Young stood before dozens of people he did not know and finally gave his graduation speech. Here's an excerpt from that speech. On a more serious note, there's something I'd like to reveal to you. You may have already suspected this, but I hope this does not change your opinion of me. I'm gay. I've been attracted to men for as long as I can remember, and I've never had a girlfriend because I prefer members of my own sex. Evan, the, the class valedictorian, was denied by Twin Peaks Charter Academy in Longmont from delivering his speech in which he came out as gay. In a letter, the school said the speech included references to personal matters of a sexual nature. None of these topics are ever appropriate for a speech at a graduation ceremony. Many took exception with that, including Out Boulder, which said the position was outrageous. Out Boulder held a special gathering tonight, allowing Evan to give his speech he was also given an award of special congressional recognition by Congressman Jared Polis. Um, for the most part, everyone seems to be on my side on this. I'm not, I'm not mad at my school at all. I'm not mad at the district. I'm not mad at the board. Like, this isn't about me getting revenge on people. This is about um, just increasing acceptance for people like me in the community. And I think that's what I accomplished. So, yeah. Also in that statement, the district added that it was not okay to push his personal agenda on a captive audience, and school officials are well within their rights to prevent that from happening. Evan said he never really thought about changing the speech because part of the message of the speech to his high school friends was that even if we profoundly disagree, we can still be friends. Live in Boulder, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.